workout in town. Get your first class free and hit it hard. Check them out online or on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Title Boxing Club Lexington. Moving along after Crush Cray, thank you to our sponsor, and thank you to those tuning in to the free stream, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, or BluegrassMMA.com. Next bout is our most experienced amateurs of the night. We've got Kyle Van Camp representing Team Highton out of the Indianapolis area. Of course, Joe, Coach Joe Highton, and one of the infamous or famous Van Camp brothers is Kyle Van Camp. Kyle, eight and five on his amateur career, 26 years old. Last time we saw him was in January. Close loss against Pierre Ross. He is actually making here his Hard Rock MMA debut as he will take on Kevin Avery in a lightweight bout here at Hard Rock MMA 93. And if you've never seen the Van Camp brothers fight and compete, then you're definitely in for a treat. Not often that you get two brothers who can compete at this level. Really, we have Stone and Ken Beverly, who are really making a good go at it. But even beyond that, to have three is absolutely uncommon. Yeah, I don't know of any uh, any other set of three brothers, and I may be incorrect, but three brothers all competing at a, a very high level of mixed martial arts is Maybe really the, rare. The Gracies, but even uh, the Gracies yeah. that are brothers, Henzo and, and Hickson would be cousins. Yeah, it, it's definitely very rare. And I guess you know, at one point, maybe Hal, Henzo, and Hyen were all competing at Pride, but that was many years ago. So I mean, it's that yeah, yeah you have yeah. to go that far back. And it's it's you're really interesting three you know three guys that are all kind of came up together and, and really all very experienced at this point and tough opponents for anybody. And the thing about these guys is they will fight anybody. They'll fight anybody anywhere. I know uh, I believe Kellen Van Camp and uh, Cameron I believe went out to Idaho and represented Hard Rock MMA. Uh, at an event out there. Uh, so definitely really tough set of brothers. And we have Keevan Avery here making his way to the cage. Last time we saw him, Hard Rock 86, a TKO winner over Ricky Jones Jr. He also has competed for the Hard Rock MMA lightweight title on two separate occasions in his career. Lightweight action here at Hard Rock MMA 93. Kyle Van Camp in the blue with the gray trim. Keevan Avery in the black and checker. Third man in the cage is Rob Mooney. And as I mentioned, these are a couple of very experienced amateurs. Got over 20 bouts combined between them. Southpaw is Keevan Avery. The clinch up against the cage here. Early on from Avery. Keeping Avery with the takedown. Van Camp managing to get on top position. Yeah, Avery was looking for that lat drop there, and Van Camp just kind of fell down on top of him. Initially had top position, but Avery able to transition. All three of the Van Camp brothers have a great wrestling background. Both of these guys are very well-rounded. Nice left hand over the top there from Avery. You see... Van Camp trying to work the butterfly guard here. At least, I think at least the half butterfly guard on that left side and has that overhook. Looks like he might be trying to thread his leg up there for a potential triangle attempt or maybe trying to elevate Kevin Avery on the top. Taking a couple of shots there is Van Camp. He's still trying to set up. I believe it looks like he's trying to do a sweep here. Now has that full butterfly guard, but Avery still trying to work on top, throwing a couple of shots. Avery does a good job stepping over 
the leg of Van Camp. Van Camp now has control, a hold of that neck. That's really going to halt the forward movement there of Kevin Avery. Kevin Avery. Avery now passes to side control, pops his neck out. Van lot Camp maintaining a form of open guard. A lot of jujitsu back and forth, just small transitions. Van Camp with the beautiful sweep. Nice. I believe that was a scissor sweep there, it looked like. About his textbook as they come. And it looked like he was setting that up and now trying to lock in a submission here from the top. He is in the half guard here of Avery and trying to get that left foot out. Now is in on top, throwing some shots Van here. And this Camp one might trying be. to end the fight with strikes. That one, nice job by Kyle Van Camp. Hitting that sweep. Once again, it goes back to some good old, good old fashioned textbook jujitsu with the sweep leading to the technical mount. And again, you and saw the strikes the, that end the fight. And you saw the patience there from Van Camp. You know, he was in a bad spot there, but he waited for Avery to make the position of try to, he, he lifted his hips, I believe, a little bit too much. And that's where the sweep came in. Van Camp ended up on top and ended the fight with strikes. Talk about the well-roundedness of Kyle Van Camp. Three wins via knockout, three via submission, and two via decision heading into this bout. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Our referee movie has called a stoppage to the fight. Due to unanswered strikes, your winner. And that's one win for the Van Camp brothers on the night. Cameron will look to try to bring home the first ever Hard Rock MMA welterweight title.